folks, we are in Humboldt Park, which is a, one of the big parks in Chicago. And we're going to look at the field house. It's a pretty nice building. And they have workout rooms and a big hall where you can have a party, other stuff. Lived here all my life and I've never been here before. And here is the front of the building, the front of the field house. We're going to fly around the park and see what it looks like. Located near Garfield Park with its conservatory and Gold Dome Field House that we saw in the last episode, Humboldt Park at 207 acres is the seventh largest park in Chicago, and the neighborhood by the same name is one of Chicago's 77 neighborhoods. Boathouse. began being developed in the 1870s and is named after naturalist and explorer Alexander von Humboldt, who had recently died. A statue of him is near the boathouse. So here is the statue of Alexander von Humboldt. There's also a statue of Leif Erikson in the park. The two bronze bison we saw at the beginning of the video stood at the gate of Chicago's 1893 World's Columbian Exposition. They were made by sculptor Edward Camise and matched the lions that sit in front of the Art Institute. One of the other pretty incredible buildings in the park is the former stables and refectory, a formidable building in the Queen Anne Revival style. For the last 21 years, this facility has housed the National Museum of Puerto Rican Arts and Culture, and it may be worthy of a video all its own. Puerto Rican migration to Chicago spiked in the 1950s and 60s. Today the neighborhood is working class Hispanic and African American for the most part, and you'll find many businesses, restaurants, bars, cafes, and shops from those cultures.
Humboldt Park is another one of Chicago's historical and natural gems. Thanks for coming along and we'll see you in the next one.